Welcome back, Rare Talks. You already know what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you go over to the Spotify and check out the exclusive episodes you got off the Spotify. So today, we got another reaction video. And this reaction video is to a video that I recently saw on TikTok. Hurly things, we see you. Hey, <laughs> I, I told, look, Just Pearly Things has been doing this for a long time. She's been using people's clips here, like, of people, and then putting, like, disrespectful titles. Like, remember the girl that was on my channel before? I know you ain't seen it, so let me put the picture up now. Right here? So you'll see it. It was called Unhinged Feminist. She called people these disrespectful names. Now, she called this sister delusional bimbo. Now, but I, I generally think that she didn't know who she rocks with. I'll be honest with you, yeah, and let like, I me mean, just be real. Hey, pal, you've got to be careful. This is the UK. I don't know how, it, I don't know how you rock in the US, but over here, we'll get your address, we'll get your phone number, and we'll be on your ass. Like, real talk. But anyway, watch the video for yourself, because um, Young Spray, Young Spray's been on my podcast. If you know, you know, there's a link there. You know what I mean? Yeah. RTM podcast, big up my brother. Yeah, watch his thing. Like a couple of days ago. Yeah, she posted a clip. She posted, posted a clip nuts. and she said in, nuts, yeah, and put me, put in capital letters on the caption. Not delusional. all capital letters, the capital letters. The capital the letters about, did, yeah, delusional bimbo. She's calling me the delusional bimbo. Do you get me? Yeah. Spray. So, obviously, car, you know how man's wearing the streets, mm. innit? So, man's phoned up. I've seen who's around her, whatever, whatever. Cut mm. along so short. Man's got, dude, his number, innit? Mm. Like, imagine I've got Percy. a number, personal number. You get what I'm saying? With Direct two, two to you. For the first, some, she was just about to go live with that Ty Logan. The other day, she done mm. something with Ty Logan. Mm. And then she's like, hello? And I was like, who's that pearl? So this is what I'm trying to say about this street stuff. Like, listen, listen, pearl. And this is my honest advice to you. Stop doing that. Because when smoke comes, everything really appears. This is London City. Stop playing with the man them and stop playing with the girls them. Like a certain girl you be doing all that delusional bimbo, unhinged feminist. People are actually people. Away from your little podcasting, there's some people that they're connected to certain people that are very dangerous. So you out here playing them little games, I'm telling you, chill. There's only one community of people you're ramping with and it's only so long you're going to keep ramping with people till people start ramping with you. Like Young Spray saying they got your number. How did he get your number? How did he know you was with Ty Logan? Man could have got the drop on you and know your whole location. This is how the UK is. Backdooring is, backdooring is simple out here, especially you're not one of the people them and people don't really rate you like that. People will backdoor you easy. The fact that you do your podcast in your house just shows me you're lacking in it. Because if really someone really wants you, they they just wait in your lobby. They're eventually going to find you. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got the, your address to your, your, your where you're staying. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, who's this or whatever in American voice? Mm. So I'm me, I'm a madman. I'm saying, yeah, it's Young Spray from RTM Podcast. I'm thinking, you must yeah. know me. Yeah. She's like, who? Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, who? I'm like, yeah, Young Spray, RTM Podcast. I couldn't believe she's never heard of mm, yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. So I've had to skip. Young Spray is funny. I swear that Young Spray is a whole character in himself. This guy is a whole character in himself. Like, big up Young Spray, man. Because you know what, yeah? He's actually funny. Like, I actually like him. I actually think he's one of the funniest guys. I don't agree with everything he does, but he's actually funny. But the thing is, we're not meant to agree with everything that everyone does. You see, what I've found out about the internet and everything else is that everybody wants you to be agreeable with everybody. Everybody wants you to be liked by everybody. But life is not designed like that. My design and my makeup is that I'm not meant to be liked by everybody. But guess one person that I do like, and that's myself. A lot of people don't love themselves. You will never be able to make them love you. A lot of people go through life trying to make others like, oh, I hope they feel me. I'm going to do this. And when I do this move, they're going to like me. Bro, just be yourself. Whoever gravitates towards you, gravitates towards you. Whoever doesn't gravitate towards you, don't gravitate towards you. Done. Sometimes we're paying so much attention to what people ain't doing, then we're not focused on what we should be doing. And... That's why I like Spray. Young Spray is himself. And that's why no one can actually diss him because he's his authentic self. You know what I'm saying? I respect Spray that he's himself. You know what I'm saying? I respect him that he's his actual self and he doesn't try to be somebody else. So, so I've had to skip past that quickly. Air what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had to skip that past. Like, all right, forget who I am. She's like, who gave you my number? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that, pal. But the fact that I've got your number shows you the type of guy yeah, I am. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I've, I've told her quickly. I've sent, and as I'm talking, I'm sending the pictures, the screenshots. Mm. So I said, check your um, messages. This is what's been posted. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Delusional bimbo gets destroyed. I sent her her address as well. And I sent her her address and told her, can you change the title of this ASAP? 
Please. No, but why did you send me a dress though? So what? Yeah, but no, no, so no, what? Like, why? Why, why not? Clothes. But it got changed. It got changed. It got changed. It got changed. Mm. I'm letting people know. Don't let me get your dress. I don't... You invited me to come on your show and then you basically using me for clickbait and That's putting me. things, defaming, trying to defame my character yeah. when I was the most decent gal on your, on your thing in that room. Do you understand? Oh. To me, Pearl is very insecure and she looked like she has a thing against women because when I went there she was like about six foot seven and I swear her feet were about a size 11 in kitten heels what did she just say size 11 listen 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 I've got something that I say if your feet is bigger than mine girl that relationship can never work I can't be sitting in the yard and my girl's like these trainers fit me what do you mean these trainers fit you they don't fit you they're mine the hell are you talking about they fit you how can my trainers fit you if Pearl's foot is bigger than mine bro it's problems. I'm telling you right now, I could never be of a woman and her, feet, her feet's bigger than mine. Bro, I couldn't do it. How can your feet be bigger than mine? Wait, wait, what? I'm trying to do the maths, bro. What's the maths on that? Like, bro, like what kind of horror movie do I come home to and my woman's feet are bigger than mine? Bro, imagine me and my girl got into it. Like, you know, in the bed, you're playing footsie with your missus and her foot's is overpowering yours. Imagine I'm in bed, yeah? And like, she's so tall, yeah? That she's like kind of gripping me and holding me all night. Like, you're right. And I'm like, yeah, babe. Like, no, brother, no, no. And you know, they say like, men with big feet. So what about women with big feet? What does that mean? Dun, dun, dun. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but she went in, that, this was dirty. That was a dirty one. I'm not gonna lie, eh? that one, that is a big L. I right, everybody go to Pearl's post, right? L, L, say so Rare Talk sent you, sent you an L through the post blood. No man don't want Pearl. Unless they've got a fetish for manly looking women with big, big feet. feet. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're always on your platform talking about what a wife should be, who a wife, and you're nowhere near a wife. You're not even a fiance. Do you even have a man? You need to dash where your platform because you chat shit. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I've heard a lot of women come for Pearl, yeah? This has got to be the most epic one. Did you hear what she said? You need to dash where your platform because you're not even a wife. You're not a fiance. How can you chat on anything? Well, you're not even the, the bog standard for it. As you said, the only men that are going to look at Pearl are men that like manly men. So transgender, that's why she probably don't speak on that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all makes sense. It makes sense. Mm -mm. period mm -mm. when i went into that place anyway i told my mom i told spray i told everybody i didn't like the energy because it felt demonic yeah. to me anyway yeah. you people are demonic that's why you will never understand the role of what a woman is do you understand what i'm mm -hmm. saying i'm a spiritual mm -hmm. person I'm damn she went i i i i i i she just went one step further and said it was a felt like a demonic place you know how deep that is bro i'm not gonna lie to you I've been to countries before and felt like that. I was in um, Kenya once. I was in a, in a city called Malindi. When I went to Malindi, it didn't feel right. That night in Malindi, because I understand what she's actually saying. That night in Malindi, bro, I'm there now. I'm in the room, the hotel room now. I think I've eaten food from before. I'm at, at some brother's house here, yeah, some fish. They made fish just for me. I'm in the room now and I went, <coughs> and it's vomited. Now, all right, you know, I think it, everyone vomits, isn't it? Like, I'm on holiday, maybe you're sat in the food, like, you know, I've vomited, cool, no problem. Now, I've got into the bed here, yeah, and something in my head's telling me there's a snake in the room, and there's a snake coming through the window in the room. I couldn't sleep the whole night. That day, there was something in that room, there was something around me that didn't make me feel good. And I've never felt like that on holiday. I've been all over the world. I've been to Lebanon, I've been to Saudi, I've been to Jamaica, I've been in Bush, I've been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've been everywhere. I've been to Germany, I've been to France, I've been to Morocco, but something about that place. So I understand, when she says when something doesn't feel right, trust me and know that I had know this feeling. I've been in places and thought, damn son, like no, no, I need to get out of here. Trust me, it's real. It's your person. And I know the role of what a woman plays towards a man. Do you understand? And when you've got the right woman and this woman's coming calling me delusional, you don't yeah. know nothing, do you get it? Her mm. platform shit, she chats shit, and I would never go back on her platform yeah, again. Are you going to tell her to suck her mother? Me? Yes, yeah. suck your mother. You well. Straight. <laughs>
But this is what you get though, Pearl, because you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to lie here. You need to stop doing people like that, man. You've been doing people like that for a little bit of time still and getting away with it, man. I'm happy that someone's kind of pulled it onto you because it could have went even left for you, if I'm honest. I'm kind of happy that it's ended like this and nobody had to get mash up, as we say over here, because it's real. Man, I mash you up and then put you on the internet. It's real like that. London is a whole different... All right, let me just say something. To all the people from America, people from all over the world, let me just put this out there too. As much as you think that we eat crumpets and biscuits and that we all talk like this come to the uk you're due to get licked down very fast you're not gonna last long out here the strikers don't last long in the uk trust me on that uk especially in london is a small place you can't run and you can't hide and people generally don't care about the law if certain violations will be met with total and utter violence now let me just say for something i do not promote violence against anybody especially a woman but i'm just saying you gotta be careful how you're treating and talking about people because not everybody's out here to play like, i say this a lot some people will apologize but some people don't want apologies after being offended they want revenge so be careful who you offend because sometimes some people ain't looking for oh yeah all right cool right, bygones be bygones they want to get one up on you and they'll do it by any means necessary. So be careful. So yeah, I saw this video the other day with Pearl and I was like, raw, like Pearl's moving scummy, like delusional bimbo. Like, are you talking about ice cream? Even I know who ice cream is. She used to be a rapper, bro. UK, I overstood in that. Now she's got a podcast with RTM with Spray, bro. But not even just that, but you see with ice cream, yeah, I've, this is just me personally. Yeah, I've never seen her be rude or disrespectful to anyone. She looks like a very respectful woman. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't know her from anywhere. I, I couldn't tell you her character. I couldn't tell you anything. She's a very, from what I've seen, she's a very respectful person. She's always on the platform. She's like, I haven't seen her doing stuff like that's outrageous or saying weird stuff. Does it make sense? So big up to her and her platform and RTM podcast. Because you know, I watch RTM. And for Pearl to not know what RTM podcast is, shows that she's not really in tune with the UK. It's like not knowing what, obviously Rare Talks is the best. So don't care about none of them and go subscribe to my thing. I don't care about none of this. Like, comment and subscribe. Bow, you already know where it is.